High School Trojan Marching Band, Newcastle, Indiana. You know that's a mouthful. Probably won't be able to say that about 5 o'clock this evening. Anyway, coming up right behind, look at there. First of all, before I get to Kermit, there's a whole car full of fun just in front. Part of the beloved world of the Muppets, created by one of the world's great magicians, Jim Henson. A few Muppet spotters at home should be able to identify Waldorf in there, as well as Statler, the great Gonzo. There's Beauregard, Sweetums, some rats. Where's Bradley? My little three-year-old can help me out. He can identify everybody in there. And speaking of Jim Henson, I ask you now, where would the most famous frog in the world be on Thanksgiving if not in this parade? Let me give you some statistics on a gentleman who really needs no introduction. He is, of course, Kermit the Frog. He was the first balloon ever allowed outside of the United States. Did you know that? He helped celebrate the Year of the Child in England, and he's a big one. This is his sixth year in the parade. He is six stories tall, 24 feet wide. How many feet of helium does it take to fill him? 5,220 cubic feet. And floating high above Broadway on this day, we're proud to have Kermit, the most famous frog going. Kermit furnished this morning by Henson Associates. Good seeing you, big green guy. We'll come back. Lots more to come on this holiday, and we're glad you could be with us. Paul Williams sings to a giant olive oil, and he give, performs with a cast from Broadway's Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So, don't miss a minute. Thank you, Beaverton. Look right behind you. Yep, you're right. Linus the Lionhearted. He's noble, he's yellow, he's the king of beasts. But I guess it's easy to be the king of beasts when you have your loyal subjects to drag you around. 43 of his loyal subjects are holding down his 3,400 square feet of helium there, right? Making sure that Linus doesn't float away. But I guess essentially he can reign wherever he wants at that size. What's the old, how does the old joke go? What does a lion that size do? Anything he wants. We'll come back. Lots more of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to come. Stick around. Coming up, Heidi Saw and the National Dance Institute presents a nightmare ballet on a most spectacular float, just ahead. We should all be treated as nicely. Benji, of course, riding in style. No autographs, though, I'm afraid. Look who's right behind him. How many autographs do you suppose this fella has signed over the years? I even feel embarrassed saying that that's Mickey Mouse. Because if you don't know who Mickey Mouse is, then you don't know what Thanksgiving is about anyway, right? But did you know that now Mickey Mouse is a teamster? That's the truth. At Disneyland, Mickey Mouse has been signed up. He's now unionized. He's the teamster. This fella's been around a long time. And of course, everybody, glad to see him here on this day. 36 employees dragging him along. 57 feet tall, that mouse. If you think the little ones make you squeak, try that one running through your living room. That'll do a number on you. And if you've ever wondered what it's like to ride on a float, well, here's your chance. This is your view as you come along. Now you're heading south on Broadway. You can see Mickey turning the corner right there. If I stick my hand up like this, can you see where I'm sitting? No. Some segment of the program. You see that? Now we're going to graduate. First of all, we see them on a bicycle going through there. And then you see them on a plane coming through. And we, then we graduate to the big guy. Now, if we could pan the camera up, you're going to see flying into Herald Square, attended by a ground crew. Are you ready for this? A ground crew of 40. Of 40, mind you. I don't need to introduce Snoopy. Where's the Red Baron, anyway? Here's a man of, ex uh, a man. Here's a dog of extraordinary flying skills. Making a perfect flight on this Thanksgiving morning. Snoopy having the time of his life. Probably reliving his aerial battles. Maybe that's why they call those battles. You ready for this one, Sarah? Maybe that's why they call them dog fights? No? Wrong? Bad show, right? Keep talking, Brian. <laughs> Snoopy. What's priceless is to see the look on the, some of the young faces around here as Big Snoopy goes by. They're looking, they're really not sure what to make of it. Snoopy makes his way down Broadway and then he'll hang a right on 34th. They'll assemble them down there, and of course the crowds will gather, and everybody will get to take a look. I, 
would doubt that Paul Williams has ever had the opportunity to sing to a larger lady than he was singing right there. Does she really need an introduction? Olive oil. Let me tell you something, though, before we let her pass by. On this day, she is even more special than usual because this parade has been in existence 56 years, and the only people they've put up there on balloons, would you believe it? All males. Linus the Lionhearted, Superman, Mickey Mouse, Bullwinkle, you name them. Olive oil today, this is Liberation Day for women. But what a big check. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, what a woman we're talking about here. This is a lot of women. This woman, 75 feet high, 35 feet wide. That is 15 feet of feet she's got. I mean, I've seen women who, don't, who have big feet who don't need skis when they come down the mountain, but this is a little ridiculous. Olive Oil making her first appearance in the parade, furnished by King Features. Welcome aboard, Olive. Happy Thanksgiving to you. She even knows her way down the boulevard. Look at that. But her feet are dragging a little bit. It's okay, she'll get the hang of it. Like we said, first time. Look who's trailing right behind her. Of course, Felix the Cat joining in in this morning's fun. Don't stop to give autographs, please. <laughs> Where'd Felix go? There's Felix. Looks a little lost. We get a little charity event, $7 million around this country. There aren't many things he can't do. I'll tell one on him, though. The only thing I, I've seen him do that he really can't do is try to play golf. You want to see that act at his tournament every year in Hartford. We go from the candy man to the man of steel. Somewhere in the city this morning there must be a telephone booth with a giant pair of glasses and a huge discarded business suit. Flying into Herald Square, the man himself, Superman. What a wonder he is. The largest balloon ever seen in this Thanksgiving Day Parade. Furnished by DC Comics, and are you ready? He is over 100 feet long. Now that's a man of steel. Now look who's yeah. flying. Don't mind them. <laughs> Don't mind them. Look what's coming behind them, though. Balloon time. Oh. You know, if you look over a list of all the different animals that appear in this incredible parade, there's one kind that always seems to be the most honored, Brian. It's dogs, of course, man's best friend. This morning, we're paying tribute to Snoopy and Benji and perhaps the greatest of all canine heroes and one of my favorites, Underdog! There he is, flying high in his familiar blue and red costume and talk about an inflated chest. He couldn't be prouder of being a regular part of this holiday. Underdog. My kind of guy. What a terrific little guy he is. Huh? With the big U on his jersey there. I just love him. I love it. Underdog. Do we have any facts on Underdog? Look at this. 63 and a half foot body. That doesn't sound too under to me. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> and about 8,000 cubic feet of helium. That's a lot of hot sounds air. Sounds like your local favorite, I'd say. <laughs> Underdog's having a little problem maneuvering the quarter. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, yeah. Underdog's going into a nosedive. Turn right. Uh -oh, look look out. Look out. Underdog. Whoa. As oh, I made it. Underdog, made it. stay up. Stay Come up. On. Stay up. Let's There's go. a couple of street lights there that he almost met. You've got to make a couple of lights yourself, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, I You're do. Leaving? Yes, I am. It's where, my turn. Where are you going? 34th Street side of the parade? Uh-huh. Okay, you I got sure a camera position over there? Uh-huh. Or are you leaving me for keeps? Oh, no. I'm okay. going to go over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know who I hear is coming? going to join you over there? Big fella, fat, red suit, beard. My kind right. of guy, too. Yeah. 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 All right. Christmas is coming, and so is Santa. It's coming on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And we'll continue our coverage right after this. It's a morning when the entertainment just doesn't stop. Bands play, shirt tails sing, and the Rockettes dance. Only here on NBC. So Wilder, the little man on the prairie, big man on the prairie now, I should say, in the little house on the prairie, marching along with him, Macy Mouse, Honey Bear, and the fifth soldier looking their best, too. I've been joined here. Sarah Purcell gave up her seat moments ago and joining me in here now. Can we get a shot in here? Dick Schneider? 
is uh, young Ricky Schroeder. Did you have fun in the parade today? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I had a great time. You had a good time, huh? My, uh, my feet and my fingers are numb, but the rest is great. Well, wonderful. Let's just, why don't you sit here with me now for a while and we can enjoy the parade, okay? No, but you know, this uh, year, Woody Woodpecker is the olive oil, the only new bloom in the parade. Oh, and, and you know... And no bloom may not be able to laugh. We have a new one called Woody Woodpecker. And I think if he could laugh, everyone would know what he's saying. Well, you know... He's furnished by Walter Land Productions. Wow, it's, it's really something to look at him this close. There's so much, there's so much bigger than you imagine. You know? Like, look at him. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Who was it that said you never play a scene with a little kid, huh? And a dog. And a dog, right? Who said that? I don't know. Um, was it Jackie Cooper? It could have been. You never can tell. You're doing it so well. Why, why, why don't you go ahead and do the band, too? 